Hey folks, uh, Practical Prepper 001 here again. This is uh, part two of uh, the video. And uh, this is a uh, 2005 uh, Chevrolet Astro six cylinder. As you can see, it's in pretty decent condition. It's got about 120,000 miles. I'm showing you uh, the interior. It didn't come with the rear seat, but that's okay because even this one I'm getting rid of. And uh, let me show you something around. It's the split door type. For all the minivans, uh, this one uh, is the one with the most uh, space all around. Even though this one, as opposed to the cargo, this right here. These panels they take up a lot of room, so I'm debating whether to take you know tear or bait not not tear it, but I mean take this down and make sort of a cabinet or something else. But I don't know because the way I want to do it, I want it to look uh, original or not necessarily original, but more like a not homemade or rigged. I want to do something uh, something nice. This is uh, the view of the van from the back. Now, these windows right here, they, uh, you see here, they have like a latch inside and they sort of pop open about a couple of inches. This one and the one on the other side. And you can, uh, and you can, uh, what do you call it, leave it open now so you get some ventilation in here. It's got power locks. Power windows, power mirrors, which is fine. Don't uh, don't mind the tear down you see here. Uh, the AC is fine. There's a problem with uh, there's a uh, my mechanic told me uh, what's it called? Uh, basically, it's a flap uh, motor or something like that that directs air from the top to the bottom. You know, like the feet. The rear air, it's got rear air back there. That works fine. I mean, well, the blower works, but uh, we can't really charge it yet because of uh, of this. So we're waiting uh, to get the part, which is not that expensive. While I'm here, let me show you. Uh, let me go around. This is, um, let's see, you have access to the engine, you know, back here, like if you're going to change the distributor cap and uh, some wires, it's kind of not that difficult, but others, unlike, uh, like a Ford or full-size vans, some full-size vans, you really have to uh, work your way on the bottom or even uh, remove this tire or the other tire and work from there. The one good thing is maintenance, at least at least for the oil change. I'm not going to do it now because I don't feel like getting on the floor. But you can, I can get under the van and actually change the oil without li lifting it or without any real trouble. So that's another condition I wanted, you know, something I can at least do my own maintenance. I mean, if you're going to live in one of these, you got to become uh, familiar with doing uh, most of the work yourself. Otherwise, it's going to cost you uh, some serious money. Well, if you have that kind of money, uh, then uh, you wouldn't be living in a van, I suppose. You just rent them or whatever. The van is, uh, the specs on the van is supposed to uh, be able to tow up to either 4,500 or almost 5,000 pounds, which is excellent. And the mileage is between uh, 15 and 20 for the two-wheel drive model, which is this one. I was considering an all-wheel drive, but people, uh, they abuse them. And last year, this was made in 2005. And all the vans, uh, with, you know, with 200,000 miles or more, like this one, uh, 
you know, they were asking twice. So that's, you know, forget about it. So. Uh, well, there you have it. That's going to be our future home, so. I hope uh, you're interested and it piqued your imagination. And you follow along with uh, with us on this uh, journey of uh, starting a new life on wheels. Or a uh, nomadic, if you want to put it that way too. So, uh, if you like what you see and uh, you want to keep updated and all that, please uh, hit uh, the sub button and uh, follow along. This is a uh, Practical Prepper 001 out of sight. Not out of mind. Take care, people.